I present myself. Um, and I was wondering if you all find that age brings about a greater sense of freedom to be playful or eclectic, or on the flip side, um, what you might say to someone who's like feeling an increased sense of insecurity or questions about like what's appropriate as we age um, fashion-wise. Um, maybe Patricia or Debra. Yep, yep. Um, <laughs> Thank you. Okay, well done. So I really identified strongly with this question. I've never um, really concerned myself about what other people think. I think that's a lot of work, it takes a lot of energy, and it's really a lot easier to be connected to who you are and what you're comfortable with and what your own style is. I personally feel that style is something that cannot be learned. And ever since I was a little girl, I've always had this creative sense about myself and how I felt and I wear things that, you know, I love and they automatically seem to go together. I'm an assemblage artist. I'm a designer in interiors. And I have been included in the modeling world recently, which is taking me really by surprise. And I made a few um, notes about this. You know, maturity and not aging brings about a certain ability to feel eccentric and be in a drama of fun and whimsy, which young people love, enjoy, and aspire to. And I'm really, in my world lately, it seems to be mostly consistent of 20-year-olds. And I find that being with them is refreshing and energizing. And they're much more open and willing to be who they are, where the millennials, the 30-year-olds, seem to be more concerned about fitting in and getting married. And uh, so they're actually trying to fit in with each other and they're competitive with each other. So uh, that's been really terrific. And it also helps if you have a life partner who appreciates and admires and is fascinated by the richness that I bring to his life. I mean, I know that Deborah has spoken about this. She has a, a partner that had some getting used to her. And um, I could joke about this and say that my second husband, all the reasons that he fell in love with me are all the reasons why we're no longer together. I mean, it became like too much for him and he became too boring for me. And I woke up and I said, I so don't want to be with this person. So, um, it, uh, <laughs> so that was like great to know, you know, it's nothing like being with a supportive group of people. And um, the other thing that I wanted to say that um, you know, having an, an artistic style and a way of expressing it and having it appreciated and admired by people on the street, I always have people that wink at me or give me a thumbs up. And, uh, you know, that's great. I also feel that, you know, I look at people, I feel like a colorful person living in a beige world. And if you look at people on the street, they don't know each other, but they're all dressed alike. And I find that weirder than looking unusual and creative like we all are, so. That was amazing. Those were my notes. I'm yeah. having a challenge listening and hearing you from here, but that's uh, you know Thank what I. Sorry about that. Okay. That's okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, I so think it's for somebody else that oh, question. Did anyone else want to talk about that? Well, uh, so. Yeah, definitely, today is a lot less pressure to go with the crowd. Today you can do your own decision. You can wear what you like and nobody looks like it used to be like 20 years or 20, 15 years ago. So now there's more space for being individual and nobody blames you for that. That's very important and that's where when it comes to fashion. Fashion has to do a lot of fun. And it's fun to wear what I like and not what I don't want to hear is don't or wear something what you age is like to wear. That, that's the most important thing. Yeah. 